New York City 1964, the World's Fair, excitement everywhere, people from all over. Lucy Ricardo, bright red hair shining, dragged Ricky, Fred, and Ethel along. We can't miss a thing. Ricky just sighed. Meanwhile, Ralph Cramden grumbled about the crowds. To the moon with this. Alice just rolled her eyes. Ed and Trixie Norton tagged along, eager for fun. The city buzzed with energy. The subway rumbled below. The stage was set for a hilarious mix-up. The subway car was packed. Lucy, trying to read a map, bumped into Ralph. Watch it, lady. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Lucy chirped, her southern accent thick. Ricky, Fred, and Ethel exchanged nervous glances. They knew Lucy was trouble wherever she went. Alice tried to calm Ralph down. Now, Ralph but he was already ranting about something or other. The doors opened at the next station. In the chaos, Lucy grabbed the wrong hat, a familiar pork pie hat. The World's Fair was a dizzying wonderland. Pavilions, rides, and exhibits galore. Lucy, wearing Ralph's hat, wandered off in excitement. Lucy! Ricky cried, chasing after her. Fred and Ethel trailed behind, grumbling. Meanwhile, Ralph noticed his hat was missing. That dame took my hat. He shouted, accusing a nearby hot dog vendor. Alice sighed. You probably just left it on the subway, Ralph. The Cramdons and Nortons, minus one hat, continued their exploration. Little did they know they were on a collision course with the Ricardos. The highlight of the fair was the Amateur Hour talent show. Lucy, naturally, had signed them all up. Backstage, chaos reigned. Ricky tuned his guitar, Ethel practiced her opera singing, and Fred searched for his lucky socks. Suddenly, Ralph stormed in, looking for his hat. He spotted it on Lucy's head. Hey, that's mine. The two groups stared at each other in surprise. Then a voice boomed over the loudspeaker. Next up, the Ricardos and the Cramdons. It was too late to back out. The two families, thrown together by fate and a missing hat, were about to become the stars of the most hilarious talent show disaster the World's Fair had ever seen.